Yeah, what's good, beautiful people? It's your homie, DJ Be Easy, giving you another episode of the Mix Up Podcast. And we got a very special guest in the studio, but we're outside the studio. Technically, we're inside a Parkville market, outside the bar called The Local. And Joel, how you feeling, brother? Good, man. Just chilling, you know. We out here Thursday. Mm-hmm. You know, happy to be here. You know, we ended up, I was like, oh, yeah, it's good. So, it, yeah. There's been a lot of stuff going on in 2021, especially the past three months, like just gigs, recouping a lot of business that was lost in 2020. Exactly. And then I know you've been doing a lot of things with photography, but also you have a sample of um, yes. something you've been making. Yeah. What have you been making, bro? So, I mean, yeah, I make poquito, um, especially during the holidays, you know, as Thanksgiving and Christmas come along, you know, uh, the taste buds. Go on coquito or you know cinnamon nutmeg, so that's what I make. Um, yeah. I usually do you know original, but I also can do some flavors. So I uh, got some sample for you. Nice. Um, it's all vegan too, so no Ooh. no dairy, no eggs. Um, it's much smoother. It's just like an all coconut coconut milk cream. Uh, you know ramen and spices. So I get you one. Uh oh, we about to do the samples, bro. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, yeah, for me, I'm just getting more gigs. 
Um, that one, I think I just did it. I just showed up and just took some pictures just to take some. But, um, Dude, I appreciate that. And make sure you grab my snare contacts because they're going to be so good. We'll, we'll, <laughs> hey, we'll talk to the right people. You know. But, um, but yeah, right now I'm doing like a lot of music photography. I just literally did some high school photos. Um, you know, weddings, just really delving more into that. And really just trying to make that something that sits me with contacts and networks because, you know, I love photography and that's, you know, it's a nice passion and hobby for me, but there's more that I want to see done. Especially, you know, just with everyone around us. Like, for me, photography is capturing people and bringing awareness. Yes. Um, but now, because it's a career, and now it's like trying to tie money to that and, you know, also being true to my worth and honoring that. So, just trying to find that, I guess, that new, you know, venture, if you will, just trying to get all of that working. Because, yeah, before I used to take photos for free, but now that this, this is actually my full time gig now. So, I'm, I'm this, this is amazing. Yeah, and I mean, creative as well. I'm actually offering like consultancy uh, services, uh, creative consulting, and again, writing. Um, I'm actually trying to get back to words of painting, so, um, and then just again, event planning, holding space. Um, working with other artists to build them up, so that's kind of what I want to do more because working a nine to five was, wasn't really for me. I was trying to juggle everything, and it just became too much. So uh, a lot of stress, a lot of just sometimes sleepless nights. That and just like you know, literally, I was just tuning out. Like I even just feel my body just really going like I pushing more towards my passion. Really. You know, that's what, at the end of the day, challenges me. It makes me, you know, more, feel more fulfilled. So, you know, I just, it was kind of like great, like, just literally, like, if you look at, like, like one of those graphs, and it's like, uh, you know, it's going up and down, and so I'm just like, I wasn't as engaged, I wasn't really interested, and, you know, being a full-time freelancer is definitely a challenge, but for me, it's something that, you know, the more work you put into it, the more people see you're doing that thing, and, and also, you know, just really making that happen, you see that, you know, more results come from it. You put your energy into something that you really love. Because the thing is, when you put your energy into something that you really care about, you're just going to get lessons, gigs, whatever you want to call it, out of nowhere. Because you truly care about it. You put the energy in it, you know. And let's just say you truly care about, you know, as an example, a state job. You see some stuff going on with that, but then when I mean, you put your energy into like, you know, that's just like you want to be a wrestler. Yeah. And you put your energy on like, okay, how to lift weights, how to exercise, how to discipline yourself, how to, you know, nutrition and whatnot, you know, then, you know, you, you see that. So where, where your attention, your energy goes, it just flows right there and you can manifest whatever you want to manifest. Like, yeah. I done seen some crazy stuff in the past years, and then even after 2020, 2021, faith has been restored, like energy restored. Because exactly. I done seen things come back, you know? Exactly. And I think with that too, just being more, you know, I think 2020 definitely helped people just kind of figure out exactly what they, you know, wanted, or like, just to improve and sharpen tools and like figure out, and like, you know, yeah, right now we're in a lull, but like now I just have to like get my business up, like or business plan, be a little bit more organized, like you know, really just that push. So right now, you know, now we're just seeing it just become more where you know you're stepping into the things, like you're stepping into I am too, and, and just a more polished product. And there's just more you know attention and more you know okay, this is like these are the things that really make me happy. These are the things that I'm really good at. Let me like tap into that more and really just make it a whole thing. What are there some other new discoveries you found out about about yourself? Just being a creative, like any new interests? So for me, I think with creativity, it's sometimes it's hard. Honestly. You know, creativity is not just a switch you can turn on and off. It has to like come to you, or you know, sometimes inspiration just doesn't happen. You don't want to, you know, like you're sitting and you just like. It's not in the mood, or you're not getting those things, and sometimes it just comes to you like at night, and like 
for me, actually, I realized like working at night is probably the best for me. Mm -hmm. Late at night, 11, 12, it's just, for me, that's the best time I can focus. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, it's like there's nothing else going on. You know, it's not nice outside. It's dark, so for me, that's usually when I, I get my work done. Like, it's just, there's no distractions, people are sleeping. That's usually, that, and, and, and I found myself doing that too when I had the 9 to 5, and as you said, sleep is nice, and like, not really getting sleep, and, and whatnot, so, for me, it's just stepping into just really recognizing who I am and my workflow, my preferences, and and also, yeah, like, sometimes I need to take a step back from photography. Sometimes I'm just doing too much of it, and it becomes routinely like a job, and it's just like, for me, actually, when I'm there, like, taking photos, that's probably the most fun, because it's just very, like, loose, casual flows, and then I feel like when I'm editing and, and then submitting and, like, you know, as a client, I feel like that's more of the pressure, because, you know, you want the photos to come out well and, and to their approval, but, you know, it's also, too, like, where the validation, like, for me, when I, when I send photos, it's like, I've worked on them for as much as I can, and I feel like those are the best, like, without having to, like, really alter them, and, like, you know, for me, I don't really like to Photoshop, because I feel like that's too much. You want, you want the natural filler. The essence, yeah. And for me, like, that's where I feel like it loses its, its, its authenticity sometimes, and, like, you know, I actually started with film before I went to film, so, like, for film, take that photo. That's it. There's no, you can't really alter that. You just, you know, get it, you know, either you do it yourself or you get it, you know, developed and that's what you got as a photo. So, like, for me, I, I feel like I want to step back into that a little bit more. And the thing is, my film camera actually broke and it, it was an old, like, you know, Canon 81, so like 70s. And it was the, the pieces that broke were not able to be. So I'm in the hunt for a new camera and whatnot, but you know. Just, just give me the heads up, there's a lot of Black Friday sales that's happening right now too. True, true, <laughs> true, but it's more vintage camera. So like, so like for me, when I got it, it was on Facebook Marketplace, and that's where I'm kind of looking, looking because, you know, they're not really going to be doing Black like, Friday is like on vintage. Like, and I want like the old school, you know, point two aperture, like no digital, you know, maybe the light meter, and that's it. And that's what the candidate you want. It just tells you how much light and to adjust the aperture, but other than that, that's it. So, um, you know. It sounds like something very, very unique. Yeah. Because, because the way you describe it, it's just like, okay, Best Buy and, and freaking Target is not just going to have this. You know, right? No. Wow. And yeah, you either go to like an actual like, photography, like a, you know, camera store, like an actual like you know camera bar or something like that you know specialized camera stores or you know Facebook marketplace. I just hope that it, the I'll, product is good. I hope it comes back to me. Yeah, I, I think it will. I'm just you know right now I'm just trying to you know broaden the landscape a little bit and then just again go into the other hats that I have because again I like I like variety. I think that gives me it, it's, it's able to expand my creativity and just taking photos. And, like for me, especially with, as a photographer, you're like really cognizant of the screen, like the, of, of what's in your photos. So like, you know, the, the setting and like how the lighting is set up and stuff like that. And for me, I want to actually be a part of that conversation as well. Because, you know, if I can set up the lighting or like help set up the space so it, it's just more visually appealing, like that's something that just either enhances the, photo, the photos and the experience for whoever's so, um, you know, just cre creativity and just trying to, you know, find other mediums and other, you know, places to be creative. So, any goals you want to get from now to, we'll say, June? Like, anything you're really trying to get right now? I mean, from now, just trying to, you know, find more consistent, you know, whether it be gigs or just, you know, initiatives that are, that are, you know, 
being with people who are working with the walking with intention. Because it's one thing to say you want to do something, it's another thing to follow through and you know, I'm sure you, you know, with bookings it's the same thing for you as it is for me. Some people say, hey, you know, I want to do, you know, use you or, you know, I want to, you know, your services and then it gets closer to that date that they were saying and they kind of either pull out or, you know, something comes up. So it's like, I just want some sort of like, working with people who are consistent and, you know, really can communicate that, that, you know, okay, this is happening, this is happening. Like, you know, I, I, with a freelancer and you know, pricing on something, it becomes a different conversation than, hey, I'm just going to show up in a camera. Oh, cool. You know, like, when you put those boundaries, there's always those obstacles that pop up as, as uh, you know, I've seen it with graphic designers and other things like that. that you know, same struggle as an entrepreneur. If you're going to come to those roadblocks, for me, it's just being able to say, hey, this is my price, or this is, you know, the services, and they're going to say, cool, and then I have a contract, so send out the contracts. I'm, I'm all loving how it smoothly just happens like that, because it's like, now it's just smoothly just happening, like, in the sense where, you let people know a price, they're just like, okay, cool. Because I know back in the days, we had to negotiate so much, like, I mean, because people don't understand. And, and that's the thing, too, like, you know, it still happens sometimes, yeah. people don't, you know, yeah. they think you have this cool job, and they think, you know, oh, yeah, this price that I'm paying you is just for a couple of photos. It's like, no, you're paying for the equipment I'm using, you're paying for the software I'm using, you're paying for the time that I'm putting yeah. in, because, again, I work on, you know, like, for a you know, I have presets and I have things that will make it easier, but also, you know, I'm going to be there for a while just going through the photos, selecting the photos, okay, putting on a, you know, finding the style I want to, you know, to, to kind of edit them and then send them to you. If you don't like them, then, you know, it's, that's a whole other conversation. So, like, you know, it's not just a cool job. There is so much work that goes into it. And, you know, even I, I did corporate headshots the other day, and just like taking those, like learning how to, like teaching myself how to do it with some, like you know, a workflow that you know find on YouTube, but like obviously making it my own style, but like doing the research and then actually, you know, doing all of that together, it's, it's not easy. No, it's not. And, and it's not at all. Bro. And people mistake that, and so like you know, I think just the awareness is what I would want to see more people. The awareness and then just also just the, the understanding of where, like, you can't just, you know, wake up one morning and be like, hey, I'm going to be a top-notch photographer or I'm going to be a top-notch musician or a top-notch um, DJ or whatever. Exactly. We, we put work in this. This is years of sweat and equity and, you know, sometimes rejection and then learn how to build the rejection and just getting better at your craft and then to the point where you don't got to worry about rejection anymore because you're, you're going to be in the mix. Yeah, you know, and you'll so. be the one that'll be like, I can't do this. It, exactly. Do this. But like, exactly. And, and I saw this the other day, actually, like a DJ who had, um, I don't I think it was one of the ones from Contact Me 7. He actually, like, someone had hit him up about, you know, doing some sort of gig and, um, they were just unwilling to accompany his entree, like, you know, the people who are going to be with him because, you know, he, he goes with, like, some people. And, and I feel like, as a DJ, too, sometimes you need that. You need that, you know, people to have, kind of be with you, but, you know, hype you up or, like, just make it more comfortable. So, like, they said no to him or, like, they said they wouldn't, you know, accommodate them. And then so he's like, no, I, you know, I can't do it. And then, I guess, you know, he got this opportunity to, 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 to do Nas. Like be the DJ for Nas for like some sort of thing in like think Detroit or something. Wow. But like, I think that's like when you when you just honor your worth and you yes. honor the things you you know your boundaries and you keep healthy yes. boundaries that you're gonna reject the things or say no to the things that are under you know undermining you, and then just opening yourself to the people or the you know the energy that's going to be like no yeah of course no problem like you know like that being more you know receptive and realizing that some you know rejections were actually probably the best the best thing so lessons learned exactly because so. the thing is if you don't have certain rejections in the beginning you're not going to learn how to deal with like you know because now we're able to take care of like any situation how easy it is how difficult it is 
if it's a room of just five people versus a room of 500 or 5,000 or whatever, we know how to hit it. Because as we go through everything, you can, you, as a creator, you can go. Exactly. And I actually am thinking about like what you just said about like goals, especially for, just, I think, the new year in general, is just to be more, you know, confident or just, just embracing self. So like, the fact, you know, I'm creative, I can be weird sometimes, or like I have this, you know, imagination, I feel like I need to start embracing that more and just, you know, just being more of myself and not caring what people think and like, you know, validation, you know, I think, you know, with social media we're all like really worried about validation and likes and things and like that and, you know, it, I feel like it, it causes us to lose that uniqueness or that self-identity because we're trying to, you know, get validation so that you know, people can see that, you know, we got all these likes, so then, you know, it's like that, you know, as, especially as a creative, like, more people see, you know, likes and more interaction, they're going to be more, uh, more traffic or whatnot. Yes, some people, like, likes are good, views are good, but the number one thing is that human connection, like, people actually know who you are. And cause there's, there's, there's a lot of millionaires that only got like maybe what a hundred hours or something like that. But yeah. the thing is, when, when, when your business contacts, limitless. Of course. You but know? I feel like for, as for us, creative, yeah. though, we have yeah. to be out there because we have to show people what we do or, sure. you know. And there's, for me, it's also like I don't post as much of the work that I do and, you know maybe apologize to the people that I take photos of that, you know, but like sometimes I just, you know, I'm, they're going to they're gonna share their the photos that I took and for me, like, I don't want to, you know, always be posting, like, yeah. you know, sometimes I want breaks in social media, sometimes it's like, you know, I'm, I'm trying to balance, like, trying to figure it out. Your, your mental health, exactly. so, sometimes social media can be a little bit too much every day because Let's just say there's a, a, a day I don't have a gig, or a day you don't have a gig. It can be a whole day, no Instagram, no Facebook, no TikTok, no Snapchat, no Twitter. Like, I'm, I'm shouting everybody yeah, out exactly, now, right? so I hope we get a check soon. Yeah, but, it, but sometimes you just got to take that break, so you can have mental clarity to just, in a sense, recharge your batteries, and also just, like, take time to manifest something different, or... Be at peace. Yeah. Because sometimes we can get caught up into this too much. This yeah. iPhone, we get caught up way too much into it. And then I feel like that, especially because, you know, especially people, you know, especially us, because we're like very, you know, social and like, I feel like sometimes it's always a need for us to be on. Like, people expect us to be, you know, this very jovial, very like fun, easygoing person. And sometimes, like, it's like, I don't, don't want to be like, you know, always on. I don't want to always be like performing always. Like I just want sometimes just to, you know, take time for myself and actually like tap into again the creative aspects and just check in with myself and how I'm feeling. Like you know, just take care of myself, eat right, eat healthy, all the things like that. Yeah, and honestly, nutrition to your mental to, to how you feel. I'm learning. Like the past couple of years, I've been I've been discovering more stuff, and now it's like when you put the right food, right everything in your body, your creative buds start going in different directions. Like, like it, it, it just helps us out better. Exactly. You know, it, yeah, especially if you're eating you know foods that are getting healthier and like easier to digest. You know, if you eat like fast food or stuff like that, fried food, it's gonna slow you down. It's gonna make you feel a little lethargic and like, you know, not in your most optimal. So, you know, just, you know, obviously I like myself some like fries, fried chicken, but like sometimes you gotta just, All of it, sure. you got to, <laughs> you know, throw in some veggies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Literally I made some butternut squash soup today. So I just like putting, you know, things in my body that'll, you know, just make it feel healthier and therefore, create more creative and more there's something I gotta share with people too and share with you celery juice when you, when you like press it or you know um, 
Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Blend it the right way? Yeah. It's more like, don't get me wrong, I'm the type of person that you like black coffee. I love my black coffee. The celery juice will kind of like give you that extra energy okay. without no crashes. Okay. You know, so that's that's one thing I'll say. Some of my I might do that. It's like, yeah. And me saying this, I gotta do that more often. Not just every other week. I gotta just like, you know, find an army of celery juice, man. <laughs> You know, it, it's just being, you know, aware of that, trying to, you know, just, you know, you can't always be perfect, but just with the intention of like, okay, incorporate it more, or, you know, for me, sometimes I get tired of the same, drinking the same things too, so like, I just be like, okay, well, let me find something else that's healthy and whatnot, and just, you know. Don't fall into the Penny Jameson trap. Yeah. Because the thing is, we love, you know, a lot of people love like you know dark liquors or whatever, but you know you got to remember all the sugar that's in it too. Yeah. So sometimes it's good to just switch it up and just you know save it as more of your Hennessy treats. Exactly. <laughs> See, the thing is like I like bourbon, so like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Art, but like you know um, even that, I'm trying to cut down on, on, on drinking a little bit, and that's why I haven't really been making drinks besides like we throw with the people I use white rum, so. Um, I'm just trying to be a little bit more healthier and just trying to figure out that as I'm getting older, too, body's not responding the same way, you know, so we just, you know, be a little bit more cognizant. For me, I'm more, you know, obviously can't team cannabis anyway, but even then, just moderation. And there we go. Right. You right. said exactly. it way before me, bro. But, you know, just, just, you know, in general, trying to be more, you know, healthy in that sense. As a freelancer, just the fact that you're not, you know, tied to a clock, you, you can lose some of that too, that discipline, because you're just you're not, you're, it's not really a structure. You're, you know, you're not free all the time, but you just your work schedule it just ebbs and flows, and like you know, sometimes I'll be I have like four gigs like in a row, or like you know, spread within the three, you know few days, and then if not, sometimes it's just like you know every weekend or like, you know, twice a week, or, you know, it ebbs and flows, so like just trying to find some sort of consistency with my eating and my health. The number one thing, consistency, and is it also number two, balance. Because when you have that, there's gonna be some days where you're like, you know what, that fried chicken tray is calling our name. But if it's just like once in a blue, you could, but you have a consistent, you know, Regiment, uh, meal planner, whatever you want to call it, and it's also awesome, balanced out. Yeah. So, learn a lot. You know, the older I get, I'm learning too. Exactly. Yeah. And you know? it's just being, yeah, again, it's being more strategic. You know, yeah. Being okay. Well, you know, if I have if I have that fried chicken then tomorrow or like the next meal, I'm gonna have more vegetables. I'm gonna have, exactly. You know, and kombucha too um, helps break down like a lot of like the pride and the cheese, the dairy, so like incorporating that. And even like, if I don't want to drink like it straight, I'll just mix it in with some like juice or something. And, 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 and you know, uh, you know, Ooh, it's doing right by the body. Exactly. Respect your body, your body's gonna respect you right back. Any shout outs before we wrap up? Um, I mean, obviously shout out to you, just, you know, appreciate you just reaching out and saying, hey, you know, been a while, but I know yeah. we've been hustling. Exactly. So, so I mean, it, and you know, everyone's got their their timelines and stuff. Mm -hmm. But um, I mean, just shout out to everyone that you know is a part of the community. Um, you know, Danessa actually helped me with the vegan poquito. So uh, Danessi, so it's at D A N E S I I I I four I's. Um, yeah, yeah, she's um, my girlfriend, and also just. Uh, so, Helped me with that, um, and I kind of just ran with it, made different flavors. So um, she's got her own thing going on with ceramics, and, and that's Samia. So Samia, shout out to Samia for doing this thing. Um, if you haven't been there yet, definitely uh, a place I to got go. Sweet, you know what? It feels like all my friends and some of my family members have been there. I have to go there. So if I have some time tomorrow, I'll definitely go. Yeah, I mean there or just the weekend. You know, it's just a nice, just a place, especially for people of color. Um, and they also have like, you know, I think 
Juicy J's there. Uh, Shout out to your Juicy J. Yeah. Yeah. And then so chill, like they have, you know, they're selling products made by black owned um, businesses. So, that's amazing. And and so that's a great and powerful thing. It's just a place where you can meet up, you can get your work, you can you know, they have coffee, they have tea, they have juice. It's the student center filling up at this. Exactly, but it's it's right there in like the downtown Harper, right across from Yargo. So um, I think it's been open for like a month or two months now. So. I think it's been two months. Yeah, it's two months. It's just, for me, it just feels like it's been there. It's always been there. So um, got to check that out. And if yeah, check that out. Check out some of So. Yeah. Let everybody know your, your Instagram, your social media tags to contact you for photography or bartending or whatever you whatever yeah. you're looking for. So yeah, my Instagram is at J O E L underscore C X N on Instagram. Um, there's actually a headshot special that I'm doing, so keep that. Uh, it's like the last thing I just posted. Um, I'm doing coquito up until uh, the end of December, so. Uh, I do 750 uh, milliliter bottles, so a wine bottle, um, and that's you know original. Or I do Oreo, I think maple peanut butter. I'll be experimenting with some other flavors um, soon. Uh, I've done banana before too, so uh, just some different flavors if people are interested. Hit me up. Um, I usually make it the day of, or you know the next day, depending on you know my schedule. But uh, I'm around. Yeah. Yeah, Good. Last things on this man. Yes, man. Appreciate um, you. More success. More success. More success. Yes. Um, for everyone. Yeah, for everybody. And just us building up this community, and so we can all, you know, what's the game plan? Besides just being rich, but just being balanced, being healthy, being everything we want to be as a community. Yeah, and so, I mean, even rich, not even just in the sense of money, money. but just in. The sense of community, the sense yes. of things coming on, you know, a rich in the sense of pride that, yes. you know, hopefully Hartford can build itself up to be a place where people are kind of wanting to come out of the blue, like, let's go to Hartford, like, you know, I think we just have to help build each other up, you know, um, the music scene, the art scene, um, I'll shout out to Linda Luce, she has an ex uh, exhibition on Allen Street up until the end of the month, so, uh, her uh, tag is at a i i r dot i s so Aris. Um, she's got an exhibition that's coming out. Um, Zulinet has an event Shout in two days. Zulinet. Yeah, so a little bit of death. I actually had a gig that day, but um, you know things are going on. There's things that are happening, so just hopefully we can just help bring awareness and let you know let the good times happen and let you know. Just all this creative energy hopefully manifest into a, a very dope scene that, you know, can really help all of us. It's happening and it's going to continue happening. So I'm with this, man. Yeah. You know, the rest of this year, popular. Next year, like basically, this year we saw a level of just awareness and everything. Next year is going to even be more than we can even imagine. Exactly. So, yo, beautiful people. Yep. Mix Up Podcast. Yes. This will be up on, I would say Facebook. No, not Facebook. Uh, YouTube. YouTube tomorrow afternoon. I just got to, you know, do the editing thing. Editing. Yay. Editing. <laughs> I mean. But, but we're, 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 we're professionals, so we're going to get it done. And then also on SoundCloud. Wow. And then I got to take it to Spotify and whatnot, too. Yeah, so I mean, we I, do, I, I mean, on IG, like, TV. Throw that filter on there too. And just, you yeah, see, so you have content everywhere, yeah. man. You have to put for that too. Exactly. You have to, you know, all all the platforms because you don't, you never know who's gonna find it where. Yeah. And as long as you're opening up all those, you know, avenues, people are gonna find it. Exactly. You know. So appreciate you again. You already know, bro. Be easy. I will. Ha! <laughs> Yo, Eastside, Parkville Market, Northville. Let's go. Wednesdays, Thursdays, we'll be rocking out.